Okay. Try it again. Thank you, ATF. Very cool. If you live in the state of California and you've ever thought about picking up a 9mm AR pistol, I highly recommend you watching this video about the Gunfighter Tactical Bandit. This gun from the factory is a single shot roster exempt AR pistol that is California legal. I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. Now, this video is going to be talking about all the features of this gun, where you can get a hold of them, how you can get a hold of them, the cost, the function, the features, my thoughts, that kind of thing. Now, Grantham goes tip to butt. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to go ass to mouth. So starting at the rear, we have the SBA4 pistol brace. If you're wondering, Reno, what about pistol braces? What is the ATF doing? Well, the answer to that is anyone giving you a set answer is speculating. However, in December, we might have some action and some movement that we have to deal with, listen to, or ignore. It's up to you to determine what you want to do with your life, but we don't really know. We don't know specifically. So SBA4 pistol brace, got a standard carbine buffer tube on it. The end plate is on there. It is a standard mil spec end plate. The grip is a BCM grip, which has this little compartment in it that you can put things in like Skittles, um, your hopes and dreams, your will to live, that kind of thing. Then at the rear, we have a takedown pin. Because this gun is a fixed magazine gun, that means that we have to deal with ways to get the action open more quickly so that we can drop the magazine. So this one is from Juggernaut Tactical. This is the Hellfighter pin. You press that, it allows the action open just slightly and it closes. I have had problems with this pin in the past with the Juggernaut system. Sometimes this can come loose under firing. So I would highly recommend just uh, tightening that down very tight and checking it periodically. Standard single side safety. Then we get to the lower receiver. You can get this with a variety of different trigger options available from Gunfighter Tactical. The one that I have is a standard mil spec trigger. So we will go ahead and just pull that. It's a mil spec trigger. I don't know what you're expecting. Now you notice that when I did that, the bolt did lock open because this is a empty magazine. The upper receiver has the built in bolt hold open feature which is very nice because that what that allows you to do is like you saw in the video when i get bolt lock i can press this juggernaut tactical quick pin i'll get a little closer drop the magazine the action is open just very very slightly then i put the new magazine in and when i close this bolt the action pulls itself closed which is a very nice feature this does not happen with poorly built ARs, but with a well-built AR with tight tolerances, take the magazine out, put a new magazine in. That is very nice. That saves you the step that some fixed mag guns end up having to do where you have to slap that upper or sometimes you have to slap it. But since your upper and lower are really tight fitting, it doesn't really go together. So you have to hit it in the back. This thankfully does not have that on the side over here. We have some very nice engraving, the Gunfighter Tactical logo, the serial number, all that kind of information. Now, the bolt carrier group is from Odin Works. They make pretty commonly available 9mm bolt carrier groups. The bolt carrier group is very heavy and it has a 9mm buffer and spring setup in it. This gun has functioned completely flawlessly. I put, let's see, do some uh, box math. So I had eight boxes of 50. So I put 400 rounds through this gun in one day and I did not have a single issue. Actually, I had one or two issues 
one of the magazines that I have that's 10 rounds does not lock my Glocks open and does not lock this gun open. I think the follower is just damaged or the magazine might just need to be retired. But my 10 round magazines never <laughs> find their way in any defensive role. So for me, 10 round magazines that introduce some uh, training potential are totally fine for me. While we're on the topic of 10 round mags, since this is a fixed magazine gun, meaning that you have to disassemble the firearm action in order to drop the magazine, you are limited to 10 rounds in the state of California, legally. Could you put a higher capacity magazine in this? Yes, but that would be committing a felony. It's up to you to determine whether or not you're gonna do that or not. I'm not a lawyer, this is not legal advice. The upper receiver, like I said, does have the bolt catch assembly built into it, and this actually comes with front and rear M bus flip up sights. These are the Gen 2s. Maybe in the future they'll offer the Gen 3s, but for now it's just these standard flip up sights. I personally did not use these. <laughs> I just threw my aim point on a Scalar Works mount on it and used the red dot. I was able to very effectively and quickly hit C-Zone or mini C-Zone steel targets at 75 yards with ease with this setup. The nice thing about having this longer barrel, which I believe is nine inches with, and then also has the little uh, blast forwarding device, a longer barrel to a certain extent in nine millimeter gets you much more velocity. I think if you look at most of the boxes of ammunition, they say like, oh, it gets like 1100 or a thousand feet per second. A lot of those velocities with nine millimeter is actually measured out of an eight or nine inch barrel from what I've heard. So you're actually getting the box velocities on this gun, which is nice. It makes it easier to get shots at further distance. Having a Glock with a red dot, getting shots at 50 yards is definitely much more easy than doing it with iron sights. However, having a actual carbine pistol, AR pistol type, type setup makes this much easier. The rail on this is from SLR and it looks very nice. It has QD points at the rear. It has just a single pick section at the front up here, but then M lock at the top. So it's very comfortable to hold without being full of bumpy nubs that irritate your hand. I don't know. This is very nice. I like it. It shoots well. It doesn't get too hot. Nine millimeter, not too crazy of a round. So it's not going to get super hot. Let's talk recoil and shootability. So the recoil on a nine millimeter direct blowback AR pistol is technically, and I guess just actually, more recoil in terms of measured forms than a 5.56 direct gas impingement AR-15. However, even though the recoil is technically more, I find the recoil on this very, very controllable and I like it a lot. Shooting this is very, very easy. And I think a lot of that comes down to nine millimeter is a very soft, controllable, easy round to control and shoot. It's not very loud. I mean, it's loud, it's gonna hurt your ears, but it's not nearly as loud, not nearly as concussive. And even though there's a lot of recoil coming back, there's a lot going forward. So yes, it bounces up, but it comes back down almost exactly where you want it to be. So. I don't think that the recoil is much of an issue with this gun. So like I said, this gun was sent to me by Gunfighter Tactical and NorCal Firearm Supply. Big thank you to both of them. Would I buy this with my own money? Me personally, based on the guns I currently own, I probably would not have purchased this. But that's because I own a lot of Glocks. I got a lot of nine millimeter carbine kind of things and it just doesn't really fill a role that I don't already have filled with something else. But a lot of people have been asking me about AR-9 pistols, and I think that a lot of people would like picking one of these up. The fit and finish is perfect. It looks great. The Cerakote options, you can get any color you want. The machining on this is very clean. There's no tool or chatter marks. The upper and lower fit together very well, but not so tight that you can't open and close the action with speed, which is the perfect sweet spot, in my opinion, to have for a fixed mag gun. I think everything that you get, the options that you have for upgradability, it's very nice. I would recommend picking one up 
if this is the type of gun that you want to need. A lot of people do like having a 9mm pistol to have inexperienced friends shoot because they can be a little bit less intimidating than a full-sized AR-15. This is very small. It's very small. Actually, no, this is... I would say it's big. It's perfectly adequate. I'm kidding. This is a very small gun, very easy to shoot, very controllable, very lightweight. This makes it very easy to hand to someone that's of a smaller stature, might be a little bit intimidated by guns. Um, so women and uh, men who can't bench 225. This is a great option. I would highly recommend picking one up if you are interested in this or the legalities of it. You can watch my other videos. If you have questions, I will have my videos that are relevant linked in the description so you can check those out. You guys know the drill. Have fun, be safe, stay dangerous. Peace.